Hello people, you're yeah, welcome back to our channel. So today on our YouTube channel where we talk about robotics, where we teach on how to program, where we teach about embedded systems, where we teach about 3D designs and 3D, 3D printing. Today we're going to talk about something very, very cool. We're going to be teaching you about EV6 robotic programming. So, but before we do that, I want you to subscribe to our channel. I want you to like our videos. I want you to comment, I want you to give us kudos, thumbs up, anywhere you know that we are doing well. But if you are not subscribed to our channel, you are not doing well at all. So enable to do well by subscribing to our channel. So, but before we go into the robotic programming and then the connecting of EP6 to, the, um, to your PC, because I've noticed that that has been giving people a lot of challenges, including myself when I started doing robotics. Connecting EP6 to my PC was giving me a problem. But I'll figure it out and I want to share it with you. I want you to learn how to connect your EV6 programmer to your PC. Have you seen an EV6? Okay, if you're not seeing an EV6, I will show you an EV6. But first of all, do you know I'm also a magician? Yes, I'm a very good magician. So I'm going to use my magic powers to show you an EV6 right here in my palm. So join me to say the magic word. Abracadabra. Okay, wait. Abracadabra! I forgot my magic powers at home. Wait, I'm coming. Just wait a minute. Now, this is an EV6 programmer. So with this, you can make so many projects. You can make so many robots. You can make a Doddler robot. You can make um, a, a gripper robot. You can make um, a, a, a grab and release robot. You can make different kinds of robots depending on what you want to do. So let me teach you how to connect it with your PC and program it using the Kazi code software. Okay, now I'm going to teach you how to connect your EV6 to your PC. But first of all, you're going to download the, the software, the Kazi, the Kazi code software on your PC. Um, we're using the link below, you can download your Kazi code software. So after downloading it, you're going to turn on your your um, EV6 programmer. So like I said in the introduction, you first of all connect your, your programmer, this is the EV6 programmer, you first of all connect it to a, a, a Wi-Fi, or, um, connect your, your PC to also the same Wi-Fi that is having a, a local area network. So they'll have a, a, the same mother network. So, so this is how to connect to your EV6. Okay, you press on Wi-Fi, okay, then you search. So we have gotten our digits, so you can input your password. So after that, it's already, this, it's already connected. It's already connected to after establishing your con your connection to the same um, to the same Wi-Fi as your PC, you will then on your PC that is when on your on your computer that has the the Kazi software. You also establish the same connection, so both of them can have can have it. So the code you are, you are seeing here. The code you can see here, you have you copy the same code on your PC that have on your screen on your computer that has the the Kazi code. So the code on our on our programmer is ten six two six two. So I have ten six two six two. So the IP. You also see the IP on your programmer, 192.168.43.192. Don't forget the, the full stop in between. 192.168.163.128.128. So you click on connect. So yes, our, 
our connection has been established already to allow access to the CASI code. So, sorry, the scratch. You first of all turn on your scratch too. So, you have allowed access. So, with this now, so on your programmer, then you can now go back, go home to program. You click on program, then you see scratch, you click on scratch. So this, the connection, it is connected, so it's now connected, so we can now run our programs. Okay, since we have established the connection between our computer and the programmer, we can then, on the screen of our, our computer, so we can then have our, our programs here, the code of programs, whatever we want to do. So let's say events, here, you can drag it here. Okay. Then your motors you just have just to test that our code is running, that our connection has been established successfully. So this is just a simple one. A small one. So it just roll the tires and then you see your connection so that you'll be sure your connection has been established. So we have this already. So we can then click the green button and then it works. Amazing, right? Yeah, I know. So that is how you connect your EV6 to your PC and then to your programming software. So until I come your way next time, my name is Ken. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to like our videos. And don't forget to hit the notification button. Very important. So you can grow with us into the world of tech. Abracadabra. Abracadabra.